Hey YouTube, welcome to this installment of the Avion blog. Today I'm going to show you the basics of working on an electrical panel um, and precautions that you need to take. Um, one of them being, which you're not seeing on my face at the moment, is some safety glasses or some blast protection, especially when you're working on three phase DBs or large circuits etc with lots of potential. And of course some good insulated uh, work gloves, always a plus to have when you're working in the panel. I'm not going to be making use of any of the fancy equipment today. I'm basically going to be making use of the MT730 Major Tech clamp meter and I'll be making use of the Fluke T110 uh, basically electrician's probe um, and showing you guys your way around on a DB box. Now bearing in mind guys this is not to teach you guys how to muck around with your electricity box. If you're not experienced and you don't know what you're doing, I don't suggest you do this at home. But for those of you that are studying electrical or maybe interested in getting involved with electrical and want to learn something, you're welcome to watch. But I'm stating this once again, this is a warning. Do not try this at home unless you know what you're doing. Electricity can and will kill you. It's not like plumbing where you might wet your eye or something like that. In this, this game over here, if you make a mistake, it could cost you your life. So if you're not comfortable and you don't know what you're doing, rather stay away from it. But I'm just going to show you guys some basic voltage measurements on a DB box, how to do measurements and roughly what's going on inside the DB box. Um, just to help those out there in the electrical game that like to know a little bit more about it. Okay, so firstly a little bit about what's going on over here. Um, this is a sub DB fed from a main distribution room, uh, which is to the right of this panel over here. We've got three phases coming in here, um, and of course being distributed to various other points within the building. Um, if you have a look over here, you can see your three phases, your blue and your yellow and your red, coming into this 100 amp breaker over here. Um, it is then being distributed to different points. Um, and also there is a output 40 amp breaker over here which is feeding downstairs to a three phase power point uh, which is being tapped off from over here. This isn't my work so please don't hold me responsible for it. I think it's atrociously untidy but then I'm a bit of a, of a neat freak when it comes to wiring of panels etc. And there's a few issues here which I'm going to be resolving over the next couple of days and I'll be doing a video on that as well. But basically then also you've got feeds coming off these three input phases to these which are basically um, it's, a, it's a surge arrestor to earth as you can see it's connected to earth uh, at the bottom over here it basically connects the three phases and the neutral bar, neutral line to ground or to earth uh, for safety reasons for lightning strikes or whatever the case may be just to try and protect some of the electrical equipment in the building it also then feeds up like you can see here the red phase um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I'm just trying to see where it's going exactly over here. Okay, sorry. The blue phase is feeding out from here and into this panel rack over here. So these four breakers over here are connected to the blue phase. Uh, these orange breakers are basically 20 amp deep curve or um, it's, it's, it's a deep curve breaker you used for air conditioners which might have a high startup current but uh, it pretty much drops back down to with intolerances really quickly so the deep curve just allows those uh, surges to take place without actually tripping off um, like a normal breaker would. Now we've got a 63 amp breaker over here which is then feeding off downstairs um, sorry not downstairs it's now feeding to the upstairs floor of the building uh, this is a primary cable over here I don't like that it's too, so close to the neutral bar there um, so that feeds the upstairs of the building onto the blue face. Then we've got a couple of other circuits running some plugs and, and stuff like that. I see these are all 20 amp breakers, these two over here. So I assume those are some plug points. Uh, this is an air conditioner and the 63 amp is feeding another sub DB box somewhere else within the building. I think it's upstairs. Then we've also got, like I said, we've got the three phases coming into this, feeding the three phase socket downstairs. And we've got the yellow face feeding across feeding this bus bar over here. Now, I foresee some problems over here. This looks to be lighting and air conditioning. I mean, we've got a 10 amp here, which is probably a lighting circuit. We've got two 20 amp deep curves, which will be air conditioners with relatively thin wires, but uh, it'll handle the 20 amps. Then, one of the problems I see here is a 20 amp, again with a that's fine, uh, probably a socket or even maybe lights again, but this is a 63 amp, I do note it's switched off. It's a 63 amp primary breaker, like this one down here, 
but look at this wire coming out of it. That's maybe a 15, 20 amp piece of wire that. There's no way in hell that is going to handle 63 amps. So this breaker needs to be changed. That's why I've switched this circuit off now because that is not safe at all. Um, of course, then we've also got a red face feeding up to the top over here, which is basically feeding this bus bar over here. And again, we've got one, two, uh, two 10 amps, uh, two, sorry, two 20 amps, which will be running some plugs, etc. We've got an ELC, the earth leakage um, for this phase. Uh, uh, I only see the ELCB on this specific phase over here. Now there are earth leakages on all the sub DBs, which means that the earth leakage is basically going to be kicking off on the sub DBs for the other phases where it goes, but I noticed there's no earth leakage pretty much feeding this circuit over here. But there will be further down, which, ah, you know what, it's okay. Um, it's not the right way to do it, but um, it, it'll get by. Um, and then again here we've got a 40 amp with a nice thickish wire coming out of there that looks like a um, probably around a 40 amp yeah it's about a, about a 50 amp piece of wire 45 50 amp piece of wire coming out of there from the 40 amp that'll be feeding another sub db somewhere else again we've got a um, deep curve etc so yeah this is basically the distribution points now if you wanted to know if a circuit is functional or not uh, basically we're going to be going through some voltage measurements firstly with the probe over here um, we're going to do some neutral to phase voltage measurements and then we're also going to do some uh, phase to phase voltage measurements so we're going to go into the, if you look over here we've got one neutral bar over here there's an earth bar a neutral bar insulated from the earth um, and then there's a earth bar over there then another neutral another earth so basically any of the neutrals if you if you go from neutral to neutral for example you're going to get continuity because they are connected together okay if you go on earth to earth bar again you're going to get them connected together you're going to get continuity so they are all connected together the earth bars and the neutral bars etc but the lives is a bit of a different scenario so let's say we wanted to check the individual phases we can basically connect to the neutral should be doing this one-handed but uh, it's fine and you can see we've got 230 volts ac there left rotation 230 volts ac there 230 volts ac there so now if we wanted to verify that using the multimeter i just want to see if you can see this multimeter in the video not really so we need to just re-maneuver the okay we've got the camera a bit closer so I'm just going to do that once more we're going to go into the neutral line over here and then we're going to go phase one red face 230 volts yellow blue now we can verify that with our multimeter uh, like I say I'm not using anything fancy I'm just using the MT730 uh, which is a CAT 3 600 volt meter with a decent set of probes because the probes is of course your safety margin and we're going to go across to neutral phase one, yellow. We've got 221 volts. Sorry, that was red, now yellow. 232 volts. Blue, 232 volts. Okay. I'm sure you guys can see that there. So we know that we've got power on all three of these phases over here. Now the phase to phase voltage which is basically like for example red to yellow phase it's around 400 volts, we have 396, it's a bit low 402 and then across the outside to 396 so we've got around 400 volts phase to phase which is fine no problems at all there um, again you can also use your probe tester to test that um, the beauty of this is that you got 400, 400. The only catch 20 is to do the outside too. You got to go from there to there. 400. Okay. So as you can see, those circuits are all live. Now, obviously, as an electrician, you don't really want to be working on live circuits. So where this comes in is for diagnosing circuits that have got problems, like for instance a dead circuit, a dead plug points circuit, etc. Or something keeps uh, tripping, whatever the case may be. Now these clamp meters are handy for that because you can actually monitor the current being pulled out of a circuit, which I'll show you guys now. But basically again, 
just to check the, 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 the legitimacy of the circuits, you could basically connect to your neutral line, and then you could basically use this to check your outputs from your breakers. Uh, we got 232 volts here. This meter is not particularly fast, but um, it will get the job done. 232 volts there. We should have all the same on those. Uh, let's try another phase, yellow phase. Also 232. Uh, red phase. 223, 222. So, yeah. That's your basic testing of your voltages in your panel. Now there's a few other tests you can carry out, um, such as earth tests between the earth and the earth electrode, etc. But for that you'd use more specialized gear. But just out of interest, I want to see if we've got any resistance from earth to earth down here. 0, 0.0 ohms. So that's a good sign. We've got a good uh, earth contact going on over there. Um, probably not the best way to check it, but it does tell me that the earth is fine. And yeah, pretty much that is it, everyone. Now, if I wanted to check these um, surge arresters, now technically with them being connected to earth, if we've got any potential on, on, on the bottom over there, then we might have a problem. So all we're going to do is we're going to go to AC volts, and go from here to here and you can see we got 312 millivolts sitting over there so there is a bit of current flow coming through those but um, nothing worth worrying about 300 millivolts is a fair amount but um, not enough to warrant that something's been damaged although possibly I think that one of these one or two of these units are gone so I might need to replace those as well I will pull them out to test them further. So yeah, that is your basic panel testing. Now I'd like to show you guys some current clamp testing within the main uh, meter room. Now when it comes to working in some of these dungeons, times can be pretty interesting. Now what we've got coming into the building over here is we've got three phase. One, phase one being red, phase two basically being yellow or white and then blue. We got them going out and then up to the trip switch over here. Then from the trip switch they go into the meter. From the meter that goes out to that panel that I showed you over there. So basically this is a 63 amp primary breaker, which means we've got 63 amps per phase. So we're going to start with a 200 amp setting. We've got 9.1. I'm going to knock it down to 20. We've got 9.96 amps basically hovering through this phase over here and I mean you could do that with the other phases as well so pretty much current measurement is, a, is basically a point of clamping around carefully taking a reading and then getting back out as quickly as possible and obviously you could use your clamp meter around different points over here to calculate the current pull on each of the circuits like for example if you wanted to know how much current is being pulled from there you basically go to your current mode clamp it on and you could do a measurement of the current being pulled from that circuit over there so i hope you guys take away something from this uh, video uh, basically on current voltage measurements at, at panel level like i say these things are dangerous it's not worth um, playing with with stuff you're not comfortable playing with so I don't suggest you guys just get involved and start cramming around the BB boxes because it could be very dangerous to your health. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and until next time, take care.